How do you make the wellbeing services you offer equitable? I'm Annie Hood. Hello and welcome to Well Intel Daily. This is the podcast that showcases why wellbeing culture matters for you and your business. That every company must embrace wellbeing culture and prioritise the holistic health of employees is becoming more and more recognised as a vital component for any business with a vision of sustainable growth. But what does that look like in reality? Is it health assessments for all employees? Is it gym membership? Is it group workshops? Is it a monthly coaching session? Is it monitoring technology? It could be any or all of these things. Crucially important, though, is recognition that the needs of every employee are different. And if you're a leader in a business and you're thinking about your team right now, you may know instinctively that Jack needs more support than Emma this month. Or that something happening for one person within your close-knit team is going to affect the whole team and they're all going to need some care and attention moving forward whilst they navigate. And it begs the question of how well-being investment in business is distributed. An equality-based strategy would mean that everyone gets the same. Maybe that means everyone gets a gym membership Or perhaps it's an allocation of money for the employee to spend on what they think they need. An equitable approach means providing support for the differing needs of all. And that may mean Jack receives more wellbeing investment than Emma because his needs are greater at the moment. It may mean that out of an annual budget of, let's say, 250,000 for 200 staff, that taking an equitable approach might mean that 50 of those employees need a £2,500 investment for the year to meet their needs, whilst the needs of the others can be met with £800. But why does equitability matter? Equitable means a tailored and personalised approach. That means assessment and response over one size fits all. And you want to know as a leader and a business owner that the well-being pounds or dollars you're investing are benefiting your team member and at the same time giving you a positive business impact in the shape of return on investment. Well-being culture is a team sport. The person that needs less now may need more later and vice versa. Tomorrow? When we show up, we come from usually one of two places, either fear or love. How do they both play out? Do follow and share. Our listeners are growing, but I'd still love your help. Be well.